Lewis, welcome to Barnet Football Club. Uh, how does it feel to get the deal done and, and, and to be here? Thank you very much. Um, no, I'm excited. Um, I'm here to play football. I'm here to win games for the football club. At the end of the day, I think um, everyone knows the club isn't in the position it wants to be in. So um, I'm just here to help. I'm here to, to gain experience and, and get some games under my belt. Well, when did you first hear about the interest of, uh, of Barnet Football Club? Because you've just, you've just joined from South End, obviously. Um, I'm not sure exactly, but it's, it's been a it's been a couple of week a couple of weeks. Sorry, should I say? Um, I've not been playing at South End last six seven games, so it's something that's been talked about. But at the time, I was just focused on South End and getting into the team. That didn't come about. So when I knew this was an option, then I was uh, eager to get it done. What what attracted you to what attracted you to uh, to sign for Barnet Football Club? I think the size of the club. It, it's a club like South End where I don't think the size of the club they shouldn't be in this league. All respect to the league, I think uh, the clubs are definitely clubs that are worthy of performing at, in League Two, League One level. So um, the size of the club is massive, and do you know what I mean the ambition, speaking to the manager and, and stuff like that, it, it's it's just right for me right now. Just looking through your career, you you, uh, you signed your first professional deal at, at Barnsley. What was that like? Uh, that was good for me at the time. It was something that um, moving away at 17, so far away, something I had to be talked into at, at first. You know, as a as a young boy, you want to stay at home, you want to be with your friends and family. But that was something that I soon got over, and I really enjoyed it there. I learned a lot, and it set me up for for, for the player and man I am now. Really, you've also had a, a spell at Guiseley. What what was that like for you? Because obviously it was a, uh, only one one step down for, from the national league, and, and you, you've you've said off camera that yeah, it, it was a real good learning experience for you. No, yeah, it was it was really good for me. Again, something I had to be talked into. I didn't want to leave Barnsley at the time. I felt like I could force an opportunity for myself, um, but it didn't come about and I was told to go on loan. I went on loan and I really enjoyed it. I gained experience in the FA Cup, playing in front of some, some crowds that I hadn't played in front of before. So it was really good for me, um, my first taste of men's football. And then obviously from there, it was uh, Nottingham Forest uh, was, was your next club. What, what was that like and, and how, how do you feel like that, that might have, uh, help shape you as a player? No, yeah, I really enjoyed my time there, man. I had some really good friends, um, some good experiences. Um, of like a, a top club, do you know what I mean? I think everybody knows the history of Nottingham Forest and how big the club is, but it's difficult to realise until you see it for yourself. And um, I really enjoyed my time there. Met some good people. All the people at the club are, are really good people. I just, um, yeah, really enjoyed myself. Just wasn't wasn't for me there, so I left there in the end. You're 21, which is obviously quite quite, uh, quite young for, for a footballer. What were your main ambitions for your time here? Uh, my time here, my ambitions are definitely, um, I think everyone's ambition has to be to, to climb the league and, and fight for playoffs. If it's not playoffs, then um, staying in the division and, and next year going again. And, and how would you, just, how would you uh, describe yourself as a player? Um, I had to say I'm an exciting player. I like to excite fans, I like to entertain fans. Um, I like to run at defenders and, and just create really. I'm a, I'm a creative player, I always look to do things off the cuff running behind, use my speed and, and just really try to hurt teams. You've, you've said before that you uh, you know Hawley and, and Efron here, did they have a uh, part to play in your, in your decision to come here? Uh, yeah, I spoke to Hawley briefly um, a week or two ago, just speaking about the club and, and, and Hawley had nothing but good things to say about the club and the manager and the boys. So um, for me it's important to know what you're getting yourself into and um, speaking to Hawley, he did nothing but ease my mind. And uh, what, what's Dean said to you since, uh, since arriving? Um, he, Dean, me and the gaffer have just um, spoken purely based on what he wants for me, uh, what I want for myself. And as far as I'm concerned, our, our ambitions and plans are, are clear. We're on the same page and that's so important as a player um, for you and the manager to be on the same wavelength. So there's no confusion. We both know what the target and goal is and hopefully we achieve that together. We've got a busy, uh, busy run of, of games coming up. How much are you look, looking forward to, to getting in amongst it and, uh, and playing in front of the Barnet supporters? No, yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to go straight in. Um, training on Thursday, I'm looking to get stuck in straight away, take my place and, and keep it. There's been times in my career where I've um, earned myself a shirt, earned myself a place, but I haven't managed to keep my shirt. And, and that's something now that I need to look, for, look to as a next step. So I'm looking forward to coming in and just keeping my place.